All right, guys, <clears throat> it's uh, Thursday, June 23rd, and this is gonna be part two. If you missed the rest of part one, go over to YouTube and watch the rest of it. So I'm on the advice cards. Let's get more advice. Listening to your intuition. Your intuition is always gonna guide you. Rely on that intuition. It's gonna help uh, with your decision-making moving forward. Yeah, people are being brought into your life that are aligned with you. They're gonna help you. They're gonna help give you the guidance that you need on a spiritual level. Um, it's bringing in new opportunities for you. So be open to receive these new opportunities. They are meant for you. Wow, okay. Yeah, they're saying it's up to you. You know, you have to do the work. You have to consciously make the effort to be in a high vibration, to have positive self-talk, to have, um, you know, projecting the best case scenario for you every single time because God is trying to lead you to something better. God is trying to lead you to something better that's going to bring in success for you in your life. Success. Um, but you have to do your part, guys. You have to do your part, okay? Um, I'm going to do the old school deck. Just see what comes out. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels and Saints. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Whoops. Okay, so this is why they're saying this. There's a person from the past that's plotting and planning. They wanna find a way to come in and apologize so that they can be friends with you, get back into your energy. God is guiding this person. So this, this person is, is being bombarded by memories of their toxicity, their narcissism, all the things that they did because God is guiding them to make things right. Not for you to get in a connection with them, but for them to be accountable, for them to speak the truth about all of they, they've lied about, to be accountable. Because as long as they continue to be dishonest, to not own up to all that they put you through, their karma, it just keeps building. It's more on top of what they've already accumulated, which is a lot. So God's trying to help them out. God's trying to say, you know what? You want to start clearing out this karma, then step up, be a real man or woman and speak the truth. It's time to be accountable right now because you are running out of time, um, enough time to clear out what you've accumulated in karmic debt. This person is stuck holding on to you. It's, it's torment, but you, this is part of your victory for all that they did. They don't want to close the cycle out. It's like, this is torment, but this person is trying, God's trying to force this person to speak the truth, to speak the truth. A hundred percent truth, not partial truth. This person's used to sprinkling a little truth and a lot of lies. You know, you have, you don't, you're not heartbroken anymore. So this isn't even about you anymore. This isn't even about you. This is about God's mercy, God's justice, but God's mercy for this person. God is truly trying to help this person out. You know, you are focused on a true divine connection and you're in this proud, confident energy. You are just amazing. Your energy is amazing. You love yourself. Yeah, you know that what's coming in is a divine commitment, marriage, a connection that is meant for you. So if this is not about you, this past energy, this is all about God trying to help them to start releasing their karmic debt. You're on a new path. You're not confused about your journey, about your life. The Ace of Pentacles just wanted to flip out. That's generation, or that's opportunities that are going to lead to wealth for you. Security, stability. Yeah, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. So this person that was deceptive is refusing accountability, is refusing to speak the truth. God is trying to get them, push them to come in and speak truth. Speak the truth. Be accountable. And until that person does, they're going to be stuck in their life. People are going to walk away from them. People are going to see who they truly are. And they're going to be left. They're going to be left behind. Not only alone, but people are going to, they're going to lose all credibility. You know, all credibility. You know, but this person has to make a free will choice. Two of wands, they have to make the free will choice to come in and speak truth. Speak truth, okay, about what happened, why they juggled you, what they were doing. Be honest. Oh, 
Yeah, third party. They, God says in order for this person to even begin finding any true love, peace, or, or success, financial security in this lifetime, they have to come forward and speak the truth, 100% truth, and be accountable. Because if they don't, they're going to be met, look at this, with karmic partners that treat them unjustly. Karmic partners, this is the rest of their life, I'm talking. They're going to feel unworthy, unloved, not good enough. This is going to be what they're going to experience. Yeah. While you're moving on to complete emotional fulfillment, and they have to watch it. Yeah. The angel of God is trying to help this player energy. So desperately trying to help this player because if, if this person doesn't do the right thing, and this is like the last chance this person has, their whole life is going to be a tower moment. Their whole life. This is someone you've blocked. The wheel's turning in your favor and the wheel of karma is turning against this past person because they refuse to listen to God. And you know what? That's on them. So these, this past energy, it's not about us, guys. This is not about us. This is about God's mercy, God's love, and God trying to help this person to be a, a person of integrity, to speak the truth, to get out of their narcissistic vibration, to get out of their coward ways. This person is weak and broken. They need to heal, and God is trying to help them. So just understand, when this past energy comes in, it's not because, you know, we're being tormented it's all about God's mercy. Okay, guys, um, I love you. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.